Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Dania, and as you can see from the title of this video, I will be listing six schools that offer cybersecurity here in Canada. I'm really excited about this video because this is my passion. I'm currently pursuing my master's in information security, so I wanted to do this for you guys because I know a lot of information can be really overwhelming. These schools that I'll be listing, they'll be in no particular order. If you are an IT professional, cybersecurity enthusiast, network admin, network engineer who wants to pursue academia in cybersecurity, this video is for you. Keep watching. Before I begin, I want to shout out everyone who has subscribed to my channel for all the comments, the suggestions, the thumbs up, everything. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. If this is your first time, thank you so much for stopping by. And if this is not your first time, welcome back. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so and click on the bell to be notified when I post a new video. And if you like this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. I want to mention that all the schools that I will be listing are designated learning institutions. If your intention is to work after you complete your studies, you're going to need to apply for a postgraduate work permit. A postgraduate work permit is only issued to those students who recently completed their studies at a designated learning institution. So make sure that you do your research that the school you are attending is a designated learning institution. You don't want to wait until the last minute after you've spent thousands of dollars and wasted two years of your life to find out that you cannot apply for postgraduate work permit. I'll go ahead and add a link in the description below to the CIC website listing all the provinces and all the schools in those provinces that are designated learning institutions. The costs that I'll be coding for you guys is for international students. And the first school on my list is Fanshawe College. Fanshawe College is located in London, Ontario, and they offer a three-year advanced diploma in cybersecurity. There are two levels. Instead of semesters, they have levels. So there's level one and level two, and the cost for level one is $8,217.94, and that's the same cost for level two. The next school on my list is Concordia University of Edmonton, and this school is located in Edmonton, Alberta. They offer a two-year master's degree, and the master's degree is a Master of Information System Security Management, and the cost per semester is based on credits. So you're looking to spend between $4,000 and $8,000 per semester. The next school on my list is Centennial College, and Centennial College is located in Ontario. They offer a postgraduate certificate in cybersecurity, and the program length is for two semesters. So you're looking maybe at around eight months or so, give and take. The cost for both semesters is $17,034.50. The next school on my list is Concordia University, and this school is located in Montreal. They offer a Master of Applied Science in Information System Security, and students must complete between 45 to 60 credit, and tuition can run you around $31,141 to $59,000 per semester. The next school on my list is University of Winnipeg, and they're located in Manitoba. They offer a 16-month diploma in network security, and the cost for international students is $22,580. And last but certainly not least is Ontario Tech University, located in Ontario, and they offer a Master of Information Technology security degree, and this is a 24-month program based on full-time studies. The fee is per credit, which is $1,043.53, and the number of credits required to complete the program is 30. So you're looking to spend for the entire degree around 31,000 and change. There are many more schools in Canada that offer cybersecurity, but these are some of the schools that came up when I was doing my research to study cybersecurity here and so I just decided to throw these lists out there for you guys because I know when you're searching for something or when you're searching for schools or whatever it is sometimes a lot of information can be so overwhelming and I wanted to narrow it down for you guys to let you guys have a clear direction on where to look I will leave these links down in the description below so you guys can check it out you can check out other expenses that you will be charged the requirements and everything in between if you have any questions regarding anything that I talked about today, please leave it in the comment section below. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. If you haven't yet liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time on my next video. 
Bye, everybody.